What's going on, people? Did I just did this? But it made a freaking noise, dudes. It made a freaking noise. But I am home from work. It's Friday. It's Friday. I got some things to do today. Well, it's night. Pretty simple stuff. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. But um, I figured, you know what? Let's do a little work on the razor and uh, type of video. So I'm gonna get this phone charged. Maybe have a quick beer or relax and have a beer. Let the phone charge up a little bit, or camera, whatever you want to call it, and uh, we'll get right to it. I'm gonna go get the razor prepped and ready to go. And today we are gonna be taking off. Uh... I'll keep it a surprise. Hang in there. All right, for the people who haven't seen the razor, this is what she looks like. If I can brighten her up a little bit, I guess that helps a little bit, but not much. Not freaking much. So anyways, uh, what we're doing, what I'm doing is one of these shocks, holy cow, it's like, sorry about the glare. I do apologize, but one of these shocks are blown and I'm not sure they're foxes and I'm not sure which one. So I'm just going to take them both off and uh, let's see what happens. And we're going to take it to the shop, take the shocks to the shop and um see what um see what they got to do so <laughs> got the jack got the pieces of wood got the hood here with my business and uh let's pop her off and see what we're looking at here just put this up here i do got a roof now which is cool pretty awesome so looks like we might need some coolant at some point and the bolts Sorry, you guys probably really won't be able to see this, but the bolts are right, right there. Shock bolts, and uh, looks like they're pretty easy to get to. So I'm gonna set you guys down. I'm gonna jack her up and start taking shit apart. Well, let's do it. Sorry if you guys can't really see too well, but it's the best I can do. I don't got a cameraman, damn it. Let's do it. There she goes. I, so I apologize. I can't freaking get a good angle on taking these bad boys off by myself. But I turned the flash on, by the way. So I'm going to take that, the two bottom bolts off of each one. And, um... And then we'll take the top off. I'm going to try my best to get some type of angles, but I do apologize. But we're just going to keep working on it and see where it goes. This will have to work. Get the, uh, the wrench on there. All right, so it actually looks like the wrench is just going to chill there, which is cool. <laughs> kind of a weird process, but probably just do one shock on camera as much as possible and then do the rest. And uh, I could probably take it off with my finger now. Yeah. We got her now. So she has finally broke loose. So now we can take these top bolts off and it shouldn't be too bad. Should be able to get it done. I'm just gonna go ahead and take this shock off and I'll meet back with you guys here shortly. All right, I actually got one out so far. That top bolt, holy hell, that thing was a beast to get out. But yeah, these are the foxes that they come with. Pretty good shocks, but could be could be a little bit better. Whoa! All right, I just in here grabbing another beer. But uh, I'm gonna show you guys something. Sorry, you can't really see right now. Oh, my ears are like popped. I'm gonna show you some. Maybe if you actually have a razor. Um, well, I guess by the time this video goes up, I might already have had the shocks fixed, but. 
Something's weird about this. Oh, let me, let's go see. I'll go show you. Lights off. Oh, excuse me. So, as you can tell, I have got the shocks off. Oops, can't really tell, but shocks are off. Got some mad travel now. <laughs> Here are the shocks. That's the left, which I need to mark. Left and the right one. Clearly, but I mean like on the machine. That's the left one. Now, when I take this one, this is the right one. And you probably won't be able to hear it. But I shake it. There's no... Nothing happens. You can't hear nothing. But with this one, make sure I don't drop them. Things are freaking expensive. I had to replace way too many of these. Let's see if you can hear that. You guys hear that? See, it's like sound like liquid. Like this one's got a freaking... I'm, I'm pretty sure. And they're both set at the same settings. They're both... I, I just put them all the way to stiff. Just so it all it all equals out. See, they're all... Or I guess some, yeah, that one's all stiff. That one's all stiff. But the left one is making like a liquid sound, like something like there's water or liquid or something flowing up through there. And that can't, I don't know if that's a good thing. Don't know if that's a good thing. So I'm trying to figure out which shock is broken or which one's blown out. And um, it looks, it look, that one looks longer on camera, but it's not. Just got to pull it back a little bit. But anyway, so. Uh, when I hear the noise, it's coming from, it sounds like it's coming from the driver's side. So I thought maybe it was this one. But since now I have them both taken out, it's starting to, starting to think that that's, uh, it's the left side or the right side. Um, that's the problem. But I'm not, I can't quite see. I mean, I'm going to clean these things up before I take them to the shop. But I'm going to let them look at it because I don't know exactly Um which one is blasted? If I had to take a guess, it's going to be this one, the passenger side, because it's making freaking noises, which is weird. Doesn't, doesn't sound right. But let's let this guy down. That way I'm not sitting on this freaking jack. Let's see. Hopefully I got them all lined up. Let's see what happens. And all right, cool. Put this back up. All right, so we are on the jack stands. In case you guys are wondering. There it is. I put the bolts back in here. And uh, when I was in here, I think, because I have my pods, these little LED bars, these little pods and that LED bar all hooked up to my auxiliary battery port, which is mainly meant for a winch. And um, with this razor, or <laughs> with this thing, the way I got it set up is if you <laughs> we found out, we were riding this thing around and we kept... Um, kept hitting the horn and it was late at night so we had the lights running all the lights going and all the lights are powered to this auxiliary and uh blew a fuse and um well we had no more lights so it was kind of a hard time to get back home without lights but um it's all fixed now but i just need to rewire everything everything works good you just can't really hit the horn when you got the lights on <laughs> but other than that it's pretty sweet but there's the shocks. We got her done. It actually looks like it's about to rain outside, which is kind of cool. But I would like to get shocks, or would like to get my truck washed. We'll see. Anyways, guys, sorry I'm a little sweaty now, but who gives a shit, right? Who gives a crap? Um, I'm going to end this video here. It's just a short video. Actually, maybe it's long. I don't know. I haven't edited it yet. But uh, I'm going to sit here finish the few drinks I have. And um, I will let you guys know which shock it was. I'm guessing it's the passenger one making all that liquidy noise. That just doesn't seem right, especially since it just didn't seem right. So it might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I will fill you guys in tomorrow, which um, who knows, maybe I'll do an update video when I get the shocks uh, back. Hopefully it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg. I'm really hoping not. I do have a surprise I'm going to be buying tomorrow for the Razor. It's going to be sweet, guys. It's going to be sweet. It's going to help me out a lot. And um, I will explain that when um, I go to install them. Maybe I'll do like an install video or some shit. I don't know. We'll see. But um, yeah, if, if you guys did enjoy this short little thing, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. If you are if you are having shock problems and you have the foxes with the piggybacks or whatever they are, the 2.0s, um, 
maybe this video will help you or put down in the comment section what you guys did to fix them or something like that. I don't know. But without further ado, please leave a like ring down below. And as always, take care. Stay tuned. And by the way, if you want to see the Rhino race build, yeah, that's a thing. That's a thing. Thinking about um, turning this Rhino into a racer. But we'll see. So until next time, guys, take care. Stay tuned. And see you in the next one. Bye-bye.